Introduction to Machine Learning for Software Engineers Breaking the Traditional Programming Paradigm In software engineering, we're used to a specific way of working, analyzing requirements, designing systems, and writing detailed code to solve problems. But machine learning changes this approach entirely. Instead of writing every rule and logic step by step, we build systems that learn and improve from experience. Understanding machine learning, a fundamental shift. Machine learning is a big departure from traditional programming. Here's how it works. Traditional programming, you provide input data and a set of rules, the program, and the system produces an output. Machine learning, you provide input data and the desired output, and the system learns the rules or patterns on its own. This shift allows systems to discover patterns and make decisions without needing every rule to be explicitly programmed. Understanding machine learning models, a deep dive. What is a machine learning model? A machine learning model is like a pattern recognition system. Just as humans learn to recognize patterns, like identifying fruits by their shapes and colors, a machine learning model learns patterns from data. But instead of using human senses, it uses math and statistics. The anatomy of a machine learning model. One, core components a machine learning model has three key parts. First, there are parameters or weights. These are values the model adjusts during training. Think of them as the model's knowledge. For example, just as you might learn that red and round often means an apple, the model learns specific values to make predictions. Second, there's the architecture, which defines how the parameters are organized. This is like the blueprint of the model. In simple models, this might just be multiplying inputs by weights and adding them up. In complex models like neural networks, the architecture can have many layers and connections. Third, there's the objective function, or loss function. This measures how well the model is doing. It's like a score that tells us how close the model's predictions are to the correct answers. Two, how models learn. Here's how the learning process works. When a model is first created, its parameters are usually set to random values. Imagine trying to identify fruits while wearing blurry glasses. You'd make a lot of mistakes at first. The model starts in a similar state. During training, the model, one, takes in training data, like images of fruits. Two, makes predictions using its current parameters. Three, compares its predictions to the correct answers. Four, adjusts its parameters to reduce errors. Five, repeats this process many times. This is called optimization. It's like adjusting those blurry glasses until everything becomes clear. Over time, the model refines its parameters and makes better predictions. Different types of models. One, linear models. These are the simplest models. They find straight line relationships in data. For example, a linear model might predict house prices based on square footage. While simple, they can be very effective and easy to understand. Here's an example of how a linear model might work. The price of a house is calculated by multiplying the area by one weight, the number of bedrooms by another weight, and then adding a base value called bias. Two, tree-based models. These models make decisions using a series of if-then rules, like a flowchart. They're great for handling complex, nonlinear relationships and are easy to interpret. Think of it like playing 20 questions. Is the square footage greater than 2,000? If yes, is it in a good school district? If yes, predict a high price. If no, predict a medium price. If no, Predict a lower price. Three, neural networks. 
These models are inspired by the human brain. They have layers of interconnected neurons that process information in increasingly complex ways. This makes them powerful for tasks like recognizing images or understanding language. How models make predictions. Once trained, a model makes predictions in three steps. One, input processing. The model takes new data and prepares it for analysis. For example, an image might be converted into numbers representing pixel values. Two, feature extraction. The model identifies important patterns in the data. In a neural network, early layers might detect simple patterns like edges, while deeper layers recognize more complex shapes or objects. 3. Prediction generation. The model uses its learned parameters to generate a prediction. This could be a classification, like identifying a fruit, or a regression like predicting a house price. Model behavior and limitations. Models can face challenges. 1. Overfitting. When a model learns the training data too well, including its noise and quirks, it may perform poorly on new data. This is like memorizing test answers without understanding the material. 2. Underfitting. When a model is too simple to capture the data's complexity, it makes poor predictions. This is like trying to solve a hard math problem with only basic arithmetic. 3. Bias and variance. Models need to balance being too rigid, high bias, and too flexible, high variance. It's like finding the right balance between following rules and adapting to new situations. The role of data. A model's performance depends on the quality of its training data. Good data is essential for building effective models. This is why preparing and understanding data is a key skill in machine learning. Remember, while models can seem magical, they're really just mathematical tools. They need careful design, training, and testing to work well in real-world applications.